Yes, a very happy new year. And if you want to celebrate a Lunar New Year tomorrow, Flushing will be a great place to ring in the Year of the Rat. Thousands of spectators will line Main Street to see the dragon dancers, traditional music, and floats highlighting Asian American culture. And joining us now, we have John Cho. You are the executive director of the Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, for joining me. us. So first things first, watching Cindy's story just there, yeah. the Year of the Rat. Right. I want to talk a little bit more sure. about this because some people in New York, you know, they associate rats with uh, maybe not the best connotation, mm -hmm. but they're actually a good thing. Sure, yeah, rats are highly intelligent. Uh, they are an auger of uh, new beginnings. It's the first animal in the Chinese zodiac. So uh, if you're going to start a new project, this is a good time to do that. So whether we call this the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year, this is a holiday for everyone. That's what you're really encouraging. Absolutely. The Lunar New Year is uh, as American as apple pie, same as St. Patrick's Day or you know Columbus Day. It's an American holiday. And everyone can take part. Now, Flushing is a very diverse community. Who celebrates Lunar New Year then? Everyone gets involved? Yeah, it's a, it's a community event. It's the largest parade in our community in Flushing. And it's also the largest shopping season for all the local businesses. We put a lot of investment of time to make this successful. And we're inviting everyone, all New Yorkers, to come and celebrate with us. And we're looking at all these images here of the parade. There's so much color and action and activity. Can you talk a little bit about the parade? Sure. Uh, the parade kicks off at 11 a.m. in front of the 109th Precinct on Union and 37th. It's organized by a coalition led by the Flushing Chinese Business Association and the Korean American Association of Queens. Uh, we expect about 10,000 people to show up. Uh, there will be a Korean contingent. There will be a Chinese contingent, all sorts of performances, music. Uh, people sh showing the, their pride in their cultural heritage and the fact that um, we really appreciate the, the fact that we're New Yorkers. We have an opportunity to live our dreams here. All New Yorkers, but you yourself are Korean American. Yes. So what specific traditions do you follow? Well, um, all, the, all the cultures who celebrate the Lunar New Year emphasize food, and so this is really an opportunity to uh, go back to our families and almost like Thanksgiving, really spend the time, reconnect, and uh, think about what's important in our lives. And Koreans love eating kimchi and all sorts mm -hmm. of uh, rice and cakes. Um, you know, it's a really special time. It's uh, an opportunity for Koreans, especially to honor our ancestors. And so um, part of the tradition is to uh, bow towards our parents and to make sure they understand how much we appreciate all of their sacrifice. Well, and I want to talk a little bit more about some of these traditions and also some of the things that you have brought in to show us. So obviously red, this is a little bit orange, maybe it passes for red right no, now. It's, it's the great. color of good luck. Yes, it is. Right? So what did you bring in? Sure, yeah. You know, um, we have these custom made uh, lucky calendars that we're going to be giving out to all the people oh, who that. come to our reception, uh, which is at 930 at St. George's Church. So we'll be serving hot coffee and donuts and getting people warmed up to march in the parade. and. They'll get one of these uh, really uh, beautiful calendars. And so then. Great, bold, colorful. Yep. And then, um, as I mentioned, we're going to be supporting the local businesses. And these are red envelopes. They're traditionally given to children and friends and family and normally have money in them. Yes, but I'm very <laughs> excited when the red envelopes come out. I know I do. <laughs> However, in our case, we're going to be having uh, coupons and promotions to great businesses, local businesses, and cultural venues that people can enjoy not just uh, tomorrow, but throughout the Lunar New Year um, festivities, which is is about a month. Right, so we're celebrating all over the city, but specifically in Flushing. Yes. Can you tell us about the Chambers promotion? Sure, yeah, you know, um, the calendar, the red envelope, they're part of our Flushing Fantastic District marketing campaign. Uh, we have these uh, nifty guides uh, that have calendars of uh, upcoming events. They have awesome. a map. Um, it's uh, a directory of uh, great cultural venues as well. Uh, we have history going back to the 1600s. Uh, in fact, next year, uh, actually this year, the 2020, is our 375th anniversary as a town. Awesome. I need to get my hands on one of those. All yeah. kinds of events coming up. Absolutely. Yes. Well, happy new year to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much, John, for coming in. And we do have much more information about this on our website. And so we're going to pull that up for you right now. 
I think we've got a clip for you. It's all right if we don't. So you'll head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.